First interactions with a new horse are so important. They lay the foundation for the rest of your relationship. If you approach them thoughtfully, they make everything else easier. It sets the foundation for a harmonious relationship. If you rush and skip steps, you will end up swimming upstream. It makes everything else harder in the long run. Lack of clear and effective communication is stressful for horses. And if they're stuck in a state of stress, not only do they have a harder time learning and retaining information, it can lead to physical issues like ulcers, body tension, and injury. In this video, I'm going to outline the three most important principles you need to apply when working with a new horse or in a partnership that needs a reset. These principles will also serve you well when taking your horse into a new environment. Essentially, this is a relationship setup or reset. It's really about making deposits in your relationship bank account with your horse before you ask for any withdrawals. Do you ever wonder why it seems like some people can do anything with any horse? They can trailer load, catch one from the field, jump a course gracefully, play at liberty, communicate without force, ride comfortably without anxiety. We all dream of this kind of seemingly magic connection but more often we encounter difficulty in the training process, or worse, we don't even know where to start. Expectation doesn't always match reality with new horses and hope is not a training strategy. The secret to this seemingly magic instant relationship is that the rider knows how to make a horse feel comfortable, how to communicate clearly, and how to make doing the right thing feel easy for the horse. They know how to quickly make deposits in the relationship bank account, and they do it constantly. This creates a relaxed, confident, willing horse. What's immensely frustrating for most riders is that they lack the skills needed to make these deposits. Most of us were never taught how to properly start a relationship with a new horse. We've been taught to swing a leg over and ride on. The reason people fail to set a good foundation with their new horse is usually because they rush the process and they try to do too much too soon. The deposits they think they're making in their relationship bank account actually aren't perceived as positive by the horse. The rider can't recognize when the horse is trying, even when the answers aren't perfect, and therefore they don't reward the horse correctly. If you can avoid these common mistakes and actually do the opposite, you can dramatically change your partnership with your horse. What I teach people when they're working with a new horse or trying to reset a relationship is that they need to follow these three guiding principles. I actually didn't own my own horse until I was pretty far along in my life and in my career. Um, and the first time I actually got my very own horse, I was incredibly surprised by how much time it took to actually figure that horse out in more than just a surface level way. Like I could get on and I could get some things done, but there was um, a gap between my understanding of that horse's needs and my own needs and what I thought I needed to get done in a certain amount of time. So for me, training other people's horses felt very different than owning my own horse. And owning my own horse meant that I wanted to forge a different type of relationship than I would with a horse that I was riding sporadically or just, you know, in, in a lesson or two each week. I needed to, to change the process in order to form the kind of relationship I wanted in the long, long term. The most common thing I talk about is tempering expectations and not letting ourselves get too wrapped up in what we hope will happen and rather staying in what is actually happening in the moment. It's so easy to get wrapped up in the idea of like what you wish it will be or what you thought it would be and maybe it doesn't feel that way in the moment and that leads to frustration and discouragement. Um, sometimes, you know, you're lucky and it leads to more excitement and then I have to temper the excitement and just say, you know, we gotta build some foundational blocks before we jump in and do more exciting and interesting things. So I had a horse named Eddie who um, I was <laughs> surprised. He was actually a bit of a Pandora's box. Like every time I thought I got to the bottom of, of an understanding with him, there was more to figure out. And every time I was like, yes, success, progress, there would be like a thing I would run up against that would um, be a, a, a stumbling block. And it would lead me to recognize that I had missed a step somewhere. 
So there were these moments that happened over and over again that made me recognize that I had rushed past something and that I needed to go back and figure out what that was and then break things down into much, much smaller steps. Otherwise, my horse was anxious and the progress hit the ceiling that I couldn't get past without actually having to really rewind and figure things out in a very different way. He was a real challenge to my training understanding um, because it didn't progress in just an obvious linear, linear fashion. I really had to think outside the box to figure out what was going to work for this particular horse and add a lot of tools to my toolbox that I had never uh, had to use before. So for me, it's really important to give people this perspective because I would love to save other folks from going through those same difficulties that I went through six months into a new relationship or a year into a new relationship so that they can start in the place where I realized I should have started from. So if you want to learn my principles for working with a new horse in depth and you want a day-by-day follow-along program, then you have to check out my new horse starter pack that I created with Equestrian Masterclass. With this starter pack, you'll get 30 days of audio and written instruction with graphics for support, outlining a plan for every day with your horse. You'll follow the daily prompts at your pace and follow journaling and reflective prompts as well. There are also videos and audio guided rides to make this month as seamless and supportive as possible. Many days I will literally be in your ear as you work with your horse, telling you what to do and what to focus on. This starter pack isn't for newly started Greenbroke or beginner riders. It's also not for impatient riders who aren't willing to put in the effort that it takes. This starter pack is for people who have a horse new to them or anyone who needs a relationship reset with their horse. This is the training and relationship foundation or reset that I know thousands of riders out there need today. So if you're interested in letting me guide you through a new relationship or a relationship reset, click the link below and learn more about my new horse starter pack.